Hello, and welcome back to our study of Penine Halacha, teachings of Rabbi Yezim Malamed Shlita. Well, we're back after a longer than expected hiatus, but we are back nonetheless. So, we will continue with our study in the laws, customs, and practices of Shabbos, and the next chapter is Tfilos HaShabbos. Tfilos Amida Shal Shabbos Kolelos Pesocha Sheva Brachos. The davening, as it were, on Shabbos includes seven blessings. So we have the usual opening three and closing three that we have in every Shemona Esrei of the weekday. And whereas Shemona Esrei, which takes its name from 18, although it's really, let me tell you a secret, it's 19, but instead of the middle section of 13 blessings, so we have one unique blessing which speaks about the sanctity of Shabbos. There we request, beseech God, that we should have the proper amount of rest and that Hashem should sanctify us with his mitzvos. And we conclude the blessing, Baruch HaTah Hashem Kadesh HaShabbos. Sanctifying the Shabbos. The Psicha Sabracha, Teknu Chachamim Nusach Miucha Lechol Tvila. But to open the blessing, that's the closing part, but to open the blessing, so we have a unique Nusach for each part of davening. So in Marev, Atakidashta Lotvila's Arvis, the opening portion is, starts with Atakidashta, you have sanctified us. Shachras, you have Yismach Moshe, and Ato Echad Lemincha. And for Mincha, we have Ato Echad Veshimcha Echad. And it is possible if somebody made a mistake and you said the wrong nusach, and let's say at mincha you said the shacharis, or vice versa, or here he says in Marav you said, since it's basically the same sort of nusach, certainly the same conclusion, so one would still be yotza, you don't have to go back and repeat Shmona Eser. Omnam, at face value, really on Shabbos, we could say all the blessings that we say on a weekday. We could have just added one extra bracha for Shabbos. However, and the Gemara tells us in Brachos and Davchaf Aleph, that because of Kavod Shabbos, honoring the Shabbos, Chachamim did not want to lengthen and overly bother us with a longer type of davening. And also, it's to, for lack of a better word, it's not Shabbos dick. In other words, we don't want to be thinking, be concerned, and be asking for things which could possibly cause us some sort of discomfort. Let's say we're thinking about Rafua, someone's not well, or we're thinking about monetary issues, I need a job, things like that. So Chazal tell us maybe we shouldn't bother asking for these things and therefore we won't have any angst about it. Therefore, the institution is to say one blessing instead of the middle 13. And this is a very, very practical halacha. Happens all the time. It happens to me, and it's actually embarrassing. And I'll tell you exactly when we figure it out. But it's possible since we are often, more of the time, saying the weekday nusach. So as soon as we say uh, ata kadosh, it's possible that we go right to ata chone lo damdas malamin lo nishpina, and sometimes our mouths work quicker than our brains. So on Shabbos, you could be going to ata and usually the place where you recognize it, when you start to go slach lo navino, you bang your chest. And you said, oh, oops. It's not the weekday, it's Shabbos. So in that instance, you should finish the bracha which you're reciting, finish the actual, you say, Chanunah Marbel is Sloach, and then you go to Ataki Dashta or Yismach Moshe, whatever it is, is the appropriate Nusach for that particular davening. Since in actual halachic terms, one could say the weekday brachas, Kivan Shivgar Hischalomar Sabracha Mina Rashi Saimosa. So Shulchan Aruch says that since you've already started the bracha, you should at least finish it. Vim Tov Alomar Esbrechas Shabbos. If you didn't say any of the Shabbos portion, you just said the weekday davening, 
So as long as you have not yet completed your davening, your Shmona Esrei, you should go back to Atakidash, the Yismach Moshe Ata Echad, and then finish your davening. Havolin Kfar Siyam is called Tfilah, so however, if you've completed your entire Shmona Esrei, Afilim Lo Pasa Acharav, even if you didn't yet take your three steps back, you have to go and you have to repeat the entire Shmona Esrei. O Tfila Kavo Chachamim B'Shabbos, there's one additional Tfila, additional is the key word, which is Tfilas Mosaf, Mosaf, which we say after Shachris. Shiniskina Kedeged Ar Kabbonos Hanu Safim, Shinitztaven El Hakriv B'Shabbos. Mosaf, like we have on all Yomim Tovim, is to recognize the additional karbonos, the additional offerings that were brought specifically on Shabbos. And Gamba Tvilazu, Shalosh Abrochas Arishonus Vachronus Knitzach Shar Tvilas. These have the same opening and closing three as we have in all Shmona Esrays. Uve Emtza Tikni Brach Michelas Al Karbonos Hamusaf Hukadushas Hashabas. And we have a specific nusach which deals with the karbonos and the sanctity of Shabbos and the additional offerings that were brought. Now, he says here in the note, Again, if you made a mistake and you started the weekday Shmona Esrei and a time when you're supposed to say Musaf, the difference in halacha here is that he says you shouldn't finish those brachas because Musaf is not the Tfilas Ayom. It's not part of the regular structure where you could have said the weekday brachas, but instead we shortened it and made a Shabbos one. It's not shacharis, it's not mincha. It's a special prayer unique to Shabbos only. Therefore, it's not fitting to say any of the weekday brachas. So he says that most posts can hold that one should actually stop where you are and not finish the bracha and then say the proper musaf nusach ha tfila. So great to be back continue our learning. I hope everybody is enjoying a nice winter season. Today is Rosh Chodesh Shavat. Only two and a half months till Pesach. Yes, let's let that soak in for a second. Rosh Chodesh Shavat. And I hope everyone has a good Chodesh and a great day and a great week ahead.